Hello friends, welcome to the Mind Test Tech YouTube channel. My name is Prince and this is our 14th JavaScript lecture. And in this lecture, we will study about the very good and important topic of the JavaScript that is function with return value. Yes, what is function with return value? What is the use of return? And how to use the function with return value, friends? So let us start, friends. So first of all, friends, we have to know about that what is that return? So friends, return is a keyword in the JavaScript which is used to return any value friends which is used to return any calculations friends okay return means returning anything friends now let us see how it works in the javascript friends so friends first of all what do we have to do we have to make a function with the argument that is with parameters friends i hope you have the knowledge of the functions if you don't have the knowledge of the function then you can visit my previous lecture friends now watch that lecture friends this will be very beneficial for you i will give you a great example of that let us see here like friends first of all we have to create a function that is the function keyword and then we have to name that function suppose i'm going to uh, do the calculation so i have to write here the name that is the calculations and then bracket of that, braces of that, and then after that curly braces, in the curly braces, uh, we have to write here the return keyword. So first of all, I want to add the two numbers. So to add the two numbers, what I want, I have to pass the two parameters here. That is the first parameter, that is a and comma b. This is the two parameters, friends. Now, in the curly braces of the functions, we have to write our return keyword, that is return return and then we have to write here that is the a plus b because we want to add these two numbers so this return keyword will return you the sum of these two numbers for example friends that is a great example friends that is like if you want to buy a pen from the soap then you go to soap with money okay then you give the money to the shopkeeper and then shopkeeper return you a pen okay so first of all you first of all you have to give the money to the shopkeeper then he will return you a pen so similarly in the javascript you first have to give the parameters in that function then this function will return you the value that is the that is the value that is the a plus b okay so a and b are here the money and this a plus b is the pen friends okay you can see you can consider that example from the that example friends okay so this is about that so you must have to you first have to give the parameters to that and then it will return you the sum of these two numbers friends. so this is the this is the example of that good, good example of that return keyword right so now what do we have to do we have to print that we have to print the sum of these two numbers so first of all what do you have to do we have to call that function that is a call that function we have to write here the calculation function and then in the braces of that we have to pass the value that is the you have to pass the arguments here that is the uh, 2 comma 3 that's about it so what does this mean friends that the value of the a is 2 here and the value of the b is 3 here friends this is about that friends okay and then 2 plus 3 that is it will return the sum of these value friends okay now control plus s it will not work friends it will not work why double click on that now you can see that it is showing nothing friends why why it is showing nothing because we have to print here print the value of that because we didn't we didn't use any alert method here we didn't use any document dot write method here to print the values so we have to use here the document dot write method or alert method to print the values friends so first of all what do you have to do we have to store it in a variable that is the variable and the result is equals to calculations so what does this mean that whatever the that the value of the functions is will be stored into that variable result friends okay now what do you have to do we just have to print that variable that is the result so for to print that variable you have to use here the document dot write method that is document dot write method and in that we have to write here that is the variable name that is the result friends that's what it friends okay and then the semicolon friends now control plus s and then of control plus r now you can see that it is showing us the result that is the 2 plus 3 is 5 friends so that's about the return keyword about that friends okay now one concept has to be noticed on friends focus on that like the advantage of the return keyword is like that if you want to add the if you want to add more numbers in that then what you have to do like uh, you have to create another variable that is the variable that is the new value is equals to 5 suppose you want to add 5 in the result so what you have to do this variable this 5 value will store onto that variable that is the new val and then that what you have to do you just have to add the new val variable into that variable that is that that is the new val okay means first 2 2 plus 3 that is 5 and then again that is the 5 that is the 5 plus 5 that is 10 control plus s control plus r now you can see that it is showing us the result that is the 5 friends so that's about the friends okay now one important concept has to be focus on that what i'm going to tell you this is very important friends. focus on that you can see here that if i write anything below the return keyword that is if i write here that is the alert box method this method and i have to print print here the message that is the hello 
and then semicolon. Now this will not print that message hello. Why? Control plus S. Control plus R. Now you can see here that it is showing only the result that is 10. But it is not printing the message that is the hello. Why? Why it is not printing the value? Because if we write anything below the function or if we write the return keyword, then it means that the function has been antiquated. That is, if you write here any return keyword, then after that, means it means that the function has been ended. And after that, if you write anything, that will not work, friends. For example, of that shopkeeper, if you go to shopkeeper, and then if you give the money, and if you return you pen, then your work has been ended. Your and the shopkeeper work has been ended, friends. Okay, now there is no relation, friends, right? So this is, has been handed. So shopkeeper has returned you pen. Now ended means function has been ended. So if the function has here, if you return a plus b, that is if it has returned the sum, then it means function has been ended. Now whatever you write here, that it will not print, friends, right? So this is about that, friends. Now so control plus s, it will, it will not work, friends. Okay. So it is enough for today. I think you have understood the uh, function with the return value. If you have any doubt, then you can comment me. I will definitely reply your friends so if you like my video can subscribe my channel share my channel also press the bell icon so that the notification of my all the new videos will show to the notification bar if you're mobile phone so thank you take care bye bye